EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchature with your outlook for September 12th, 2019. For your Thursday, we're going to have a cold front moving very slowly through the region today. And uh, mostly cloudy skies are expected across the region. Still pretty warm, pretty far south. But uh, further north, it'll be curbed quite a bit from what we saw yesterday. Of course, yesterday we had uh, temperatures approaching the 90 degree mark in spots. We will have some showers across the northern tier closest to that front this morning. And that's gen generally up in these areas, right up in here. And as we get to the NAM High Res Future Simulated Radar, we can start this off at 10 a.m. And you can see uh, some scattered shower activity mainly across the northern tier here. And that's going to be just generally during the morning and early afternoon. And then as we get later in the afternoon, we see the front shifting south. And with that, scattered showers and perhaps a thunderstorm moving south with it. And that uh, will clear the area as we get into the late evening hours. So uh, not a whole lot of rain today, just uh, starting off in, up north when that front's moving off to the south. And uh, as it does, so it brings those showers further to the south at later points during the day. And the global monitors are indicating the same thing as that moves through uh, generally by about midnight or so tonight in the south, far southeastern areas of our coverage area. And then we get to Friday, we have high pressure that's going to be in the Gulf of Maine. So because of that, we have a return flow around high pressure like this, an easterly wind flow. Here's your big high sitting right here in the Gulf of Maine. And because of this uh, wind flow like this, it's an onshore flow. And that means mostly cloudy skies are going to be found across much of the region here on Friday. So it will be much cooler on Friday as a result of that. And temperatures are going to take a big step back from uh, from t even from Thursday to Friday, where temperatures are expected to remain in the low to mid 70s for highs with pl cloud cover in place. And uh, after that, we uh, remain mostly cloudy here overnight. High pressure still in control. And uh, it's a very strong high pressure at that. So it's going to keep those clouds in place during the overnight hours. And then we have another front coming through uh, on Saturday. This is not a washout by any means. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're probably just looking at a few isolated showers during the afternoon hours as this moves through this frontal boundary. And that's it. Maybe uh, extending into very early evening. But after that, it's out of here. Just a few uh, showers. It won't be too disruptive and more hit or miss most areas don't see too much out of that. Generally, light showers and uh, very hit or miss, and very uh, some areas won't even see it uh, see any showers at all as that moves through. On Sunday, different story. Partly to mostly sunny skies, and temperatures are going to be uh, still on the warm side. Uh, actually, Saturday is going to be pretty uh, close to average, and then once we get to Sunday, we're going to go back to the slightly above average temperatures into the 80s, and I think that's going to peak here on Monday. Uh, we have high pressure in control over the northeast United States. Monday's a mostly sunny day, but very warm again, uh, mid to upper 80s for highs across the region. And once we get to Tuesday, we have high pressure well off to the east here. Might ca cause it will be a little bit more partly cloudy. There's also a frontal boundary off to our south that's going to keep uh, a different flow out of a different direction, generally east or northeast, and that's going to keep temperatures in the lower 80s instead of middle 80s here on, on Tuesday. Uh, once we get to Wednesday, still partly cloudy skies. And uh, temperatures very similar, kind of lower 80s or thereabout for highs. So uh, not a lot of activity this week. We have uh, a cold front coming through today. It's going to touch off a few showers as it moves off to the south. And we have another one on Saturday, even less precipitation with that. Uh, just a few spotty showers on Saturday afternoon or early evening, and that's it. But nothing to really cancel plans over. Uh, they're going to be very hit or miss, and otherwise the weekend's going to be pretty good. Uh, as Speaking as uh, in terms of uh, both days, uh, the overall weekend outlook looks pretty good. And then, of course, we have that warm-up next week to deal with as well. So uh, probably not don't, dealing with the 90s again. I, we have uh, some areas that did hit 90 on, uh, on Wednesday. It might be the last time you see 90 degrees. You might have some temperatures that are going to get in the mid-upper 80s yet here on Monday. But I think as you further, the further you go into September, the daily highs are coming down. The average highs for this time of year are coming down. So any above average, even though we're expecting slightly above average temperatures, maybe even some above average reads, we're still not looking at, uh, we're still at the same time looking at temperatures coming down, what the average highs are. So it's all relative to that. So we're not probably not dealing with 90s once we get past today, unless it's an extremely isolated situation. And that probably would be on Monday would be the last chance for that. And some areas down by the Philadelphia Metro, even there, I don't think you quite get there. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martridge. That is your outlook for September 12th, 2019. Have a great Thursday.